If you've watched any of my CNC videos, you probably would have seen that I'm using this drill press vise for most of my work holding. Now, there are a few problems with that. First of all, the common issue that I come across was that if I ever want to machine a big bit of stock like this, I have nowhere near enough Z clearance here to even start to access the top of the stock. This is obviously a bit of an extreme example, but you can kind of see what I'm working with here. When I've got parallels on the vise and I want to access as much of the stock as possible, I've really only got about 20 millimeters of clearance here. Second of all, as you can see in this little clip, when you do clamp in pieces into a drill press vise like this, you can see that parts have a tendency to lift up as you increase the pressure on the vise. Proper machinist vise are actually angled so they exert downward pressure as the pressure is increased in the vise. And I noticed that when I was trying to rough some stock and get it as level as possible, they just weren't coming out very accurate. And that's because just one side of the stock was always lifting up very slightly as I was clamping it. So I was looking for something low profile I wanted something adjustable because sometimes I machine long bits of wood. I also machine uh, plates of aluminium, not just bar. So I'd known about the Sonda Machine Works mod vise for quite some time. I've been eyeing it up for a few years and I finally made the dive. It really is the best option and one of the cheapest options out there for something like this. I'm in the UK, so I did have to pay a lot for shipping and customs, but even with that included, the price is still cheaper than a lot of the modular vice options that you see out there that are available uh, on eBay and Amazon. This mod vice is great because the minimum distance from the, from the fixture plate to the bottom of the stock is only 25 mil, and that is one of the lowest that you will see on pretty much any vice. Um, what's more is that you can obviously make the distance between the two parts as really as big as your fixture plate is. Also something really good is that it uses Mighty Byte talon grips and you can clamp onto just two millimeters of stock and be able to machine all the way around the stock. So this is really just a great solution. It ticks all of the boxes for low profile. Uh, you can use the talon grips, you can swap around this part and you can just use the flat edge. The only bad problem was that, as you can see in a previous video, uh, this year I did make my own fixture plate. I originally put in just M6 threaded holes in all of the fixture plate. It does take half inch bolts obviously you know the us is all imperial i opted to just swap them out and use m12 and so yeah i had to machine a row of m12 uh, holes in my fixture plate it did mean that i did crash into a few of the m6 holes that i'd or originally put into the fixture plate but it's not too much of a problem um, this thing bolts down really nicely and also i will say that it's really satisfying to use just bigger bolts um, I've been using M6, M4, sometimes M8 bolts uh, for a lot of my fixturing. M12 is just so satisfying. It's such a nice big Allen wrench that you put in and you can really torque it down. I would say that this is my first kind of quality bit of work holding for my CNC. A lot of the other stuff that I've got is a cheap drill press from eBay, which cost me like £10. I've got some bits and pieces from China, which isn't too bad, but yeah, the workmanship and, and the quality of this is, yeah, really night and day compared to all of the other stuff that I've bought. So we're going to set up the fixture plate, we're going to get this installed, and then we will machine our first part on it. First, I trammed in the fixture plate to make sure that it's nice and level with the Y-axis. And then it was time to machine the holes for the diamond locator pins on the mod vise. I just used a drill bit just to make some center holes as I was going to take this over to the drill press next to drill all of the M12 holes. I found that drilling deep holes on my CNC is not really cut up for it. This was a 20 mil aluminium plate and the drill press is just much quicker and easier to do these type of jobs. Next it was just putting in an M12 thread into each of these holes. So you can see how it works, those diamond pins will just position this back piece of the vise. And as you can see my indicator shows that it's pretty much there spot on. So just with 
a third to half of a turn, uh, you can see that it really clamps in this piece well. And then I just machined this part. This is going to be part of an upgrade for the screen printing squeegee arm that we made a few weeks ago. So there you go, I'd highly recommend this vise. It's very nicely built. It's very nice and versatile, and I think it's a really good option for those with machines that don't have a lot of Z height. I do just want to mention one thing about the installation. Um, because it has these diamond pins for, for locating this part, uh, you do need to try and get as accurate as a hole as possible. Now, as you saw in the video, I actually had two sets of these holes for the diamond pins. It's because the first time that I did it, um, I cut them too big. And I think really with this machine that I've got here, it's just not accurate enough to be cutting a hole for a locator pin. Your best bet if you do have a hobby machine like this is to machine your hole on the CNC and leave about 0.2 to 0.4 millimeters of stock left and finish it off with a hand reamer. This is a hand reamer and you can just use it with a, with a tap wrench. This would give you a much more accurate hole than what a hobby CNC machine is gonna be able to achieve. I didn't do it for mine because I don't have a half inch one. This is a 12 mil one. Um, I didn't really want to buy one just to get these locator pins here. I'm probably never going to use a, a half inch one again. So uh, I didn't bother. It does have a tiny bit of play in the locator pins, but when it's pushed against uh, the back of the holes, when I trammed it in, it's nice and level. So I don't really have too many complaints, but yeah, I'd, I'd try and get hold of a hand reamer if, if you're gonna be installing this on a hobby machine. I'll put a link below to the uh, Saunders Machine Works website where you can buy this. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask, uh, but that is it for today. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.